In binary number system, everything revolves around zeros and ones. But when it comes to representing negative numbers, things getting tricky. So basically in binary numbers, there are two types of numbers. There are signed binary numbers and there are unsigned binary numbers. Unsigned binary numbers are basically non-negative integer or positive numbers. And that can be represented in binary very easily like this. These are all positive integer numbers represented in binary. Here you can see one thing that all these bits are used to represent a number. And from this you can find the range that can be represented by n bit binary number. We can represent the range as 0 to 2 raised to n minus 1. Here n is the number of bit. So let's say here our digit is 3 bit number. So if we place n is equal to 3 then 2 raised to 3 minus 1 gives us 7. So we can represent 0 to 7 using 3 bit binary number in unsigned number method. Whereas signed numbers are numerical representation that includes both positive and negative integers. And representing this is tricky in binary number. So to represent signed numbers in binary, we have methods like sign magnitude, ones complement and twos complement. Basically the fundamental for all these methods are same. In n bit sign binary number, the MSB is used to indicate the sign of number. 0 is used to indicate the positive number and 1 is used to indicate the negative number. And the remaining bits which are n minus 1 are used to indicate the magnitude of that number. Here the fundamental is same for all these three methods but the actual representation of number is different. So here in this video we are going to learn how to find 1's complement how to find 2's complement of binary number and we'll also see sign magnitude representation. So first of all we'll start with the 1's complement. We have seen in our previous video of R's complement and R minus 1's complement that for binary number system 1's complement is nothing but R minus 1's complement. And to explore more on R's complement and R minus 1's complement you can refer that previous video the link of that video is in description and here in i button. So here we'll find one's complement of this binary number. The equation to find one's complement is this r raised to n minus 1 minus n. Now let's understand this equation first. Here r is radix or base. So because our system is binary system the radix of binary is 2. So r is equal to 2. Next is n. The n is number of digits. How many numbers of digits are there in our number? So here we have total 5 digits. So small n is equal to 5. And then the capital N is our given number. So 10010 is capital N. Now here we have two methods. And method 1 will use this equation to find 1's complement of this number. So let's place all this magnitude in this number. So 2 raised to 5 is 32 minus 1 that is 31. But all these numbers are in decimal. If we convert this 31 in binary, then we'll get 11111 minus 11010. Now it's time to subtract this number from this. If we subtract 0 from 1, we'll get 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 from 1, 1. 0 from 1, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. So this is the result of our subtraction. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And this is the ones complement of this number. But finding ones complement using this method number one is time taking. But instead of this, we can use method number two, which is very simple and easy. And even it requires very less time. So now let's go for method number two. First of all, we'll write this number. So to get ones complement, you just simply put ones where there is zero and put zeros where there is one. And there we go. Here it is 0, so we write 1. Here it is 1, so we write 0, 0, 0, so we write 1, 1, 1, so we write 0. So we just replace all the zeros with 1 and all the 1s with 0 and we are ready with the 1s complement. This is the actual method to find 1s complement and this is the trick to find 1s complement. Now let us take one more example and learn how to find 1s complement of binary number. This is our binary number. Let's do it using method number 1. So let's place all the values. It's 16 minus 1, so 15. 
15 is 1 1 1 1 so 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 0 1 1 minus 1 0 1 0 0 so our answer is this 0 0 1 0 and using method number 2 this is our number just simply place zeros where there is 1 and place 1s where there is zeros so 0 0 1 0 is our 1s complement of this number for method number 1 also you do not need to do all these calculations just remember this if it is 4 digit number then write 4 ones and then subtract the given number from this 4 ones. I hope you are enjoying this, right? If yes, then do not forget to hit the like button. Now let's move ahead. Using ones complement in n bit number, you can represent the number in the range from minus rs to n minus 1 minus 1 to rs to n minus 1 minus 1. Let's say if we have 3 bit number, so 2 rest to 3 minus 1 minus 1 to 2 rest to 3 minus 1 minus 1. So our range is from minus 3 to plus 3. So using 3 bit numbers and 1's complement, we can represent this range of numbers from positive 3 to negative 3. And from this table, you can have clear idea about the entire range. From this, you can even have idea about one of the problem in using 1's complement. In our previous video of R's complement and R minus 1's complement, I have discussed about the limitation of dual zero representation in R minus 1's complement. And here I'll show you how it happens. All these zeros means positive zero. So we'll just write this positive zero over here. And now we'll find the 1's complement of this zero. And what is the method to find 1's complement? Just replace all these zeros with 1's. So here we have 1, 1, 1. You can see over here. So this 1, 1, 1 is a representation of negative 0, which is a different number than 0, 0, 0. So here we have two different numbers to represent positive 0 and negative 0, which creates ambiguity in calculation. And this is the reason why 2's complement is preferred over 1's complement. So now let's see how to find 2's complement of binary number. 2's complement is basically R's complement in binary number. And that is what we have seen in our previous video. Now here, let's find the 2's complement of the same number. The equation to find 2's complement is R s to n minus n. Here all these three quantities are same, R, n and capital N. It is radix, it is number of digits and it is given number. Here also we have multiple methods to find R's complement. First of all, we'll go for the method by equation, the technical method, right? So here method number one uses this equation. Let's place all the values in this equation. So we'll get 2 raised to 5 is 32. And if we convert this 32 in binary, we get this. So now we have to subtract this binary number from this number. So let's do the subtraction. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 cannot be subtracted from 0. So we'll move all the way to this one to ask for borrow. And let's get the borrow. I have shown it quickly to save the time. If you have any queries regarding binary subtraction and want to learn more about binary subtraction then you can refer my video on binary subtraction. The link is in description and above here in i button. So 10 zero minus 1 is 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is the result of subtraction and now we will write the result over here 0 1 1 0. So this is the 2's complement of binary number. But this method is time taking method. Give thumbs up if you agree with me. Now I'll tell you some simpler method than this. So let's explore this method number 2. So this is our number. In method number 2, first of all you're supposed to find the 1's complement of this number. And how to find 1's complement? Where there is 0, write 1. And where there is 1, write 0. So this is the 1's complement of this number 0 1 1 0 1. Now you're supposed to add 1 to this number. So now we'll do the addition of this number and the result of this addition will be the 2's complement. So now let's add them. 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 will be forwarded as carry to the next column. 1 plus 0 is 1 1 1 0. So the 2's complement of this number as per method number 2 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Which is same as method number 1. So for method number 2 you're supposed to remember in step number 1 you're supposed to find 1's complement and then add 1 in that 1's complement and the result of that addition will be the 2's complement of given number. 
but this method is also little bit time taking method. So I have one more method to find two's complement and this method is even simpler method than method number two. So now let's explore method number three. First of all, let's write the number. So this is our number. Now here move from LSB to MSB and stop where you encounter first one in the number. So here we have encounter first one in the number and we stop here. Now write this part of number as it is. So one zero we are writing as it is. And then for remaining numbers just invert the number. Place one where there is zero and place zero where there is one. So here these two are zero so we are placing one and here there is one we are placing zero. So zero one 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 zero is the two's complement of this number which is same as previous two method. I think this method is the quickest method right. So now you tell me in comments which method do you like the most method one method two or method three. Now let's quickly take an example to understand it better. This is our binary number and this is the calculation of method number one. Now I want you to solve this subtraction and write the answer for method number one. Pause the video and do it now. Now I'm jumping to method number two. So first of all we'll write the number as it is. Now we'll write the ones complement of this number. So 01011 is the ones complement of this number. Now we are going to add one to this ones complement. So do plus one and the result of this addition will be two's complement. So one plus one is zero. 1 will be as carry, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 will be as carry, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 is the 2's complement of this number. Now you tell me as per method number 1 have you got the same answer or something different? Write that thing in comments below right? And now we'll jump for method number 3. Write this number as it is over here. Start from LSB and stop where you encounter first 1. So here we have encounter first one. So up to here we'll write the number as it is 100. Zero, zero. And for the remaining number we'll invert. Where there is 0 we'll write 1 and where there is 1 we'll write 0. So 01100 zero, one, zero, zero is the 2's complement of this number. And we are getting the same result from method number 3 and method number 2. So now I think method number 3 is the quickest among all these methods. Using 2's complement in n bit number you can represent the number in the range from minus r raised to n minus 1 to r raised to n minus 1 minus 1. Let's say if we have 3 bit binary number then we can represent a range of digit from minus 4 to plus 3. Observing this table you can have clear idea about the range. Now an important thing you can notice here is. There is no issue of dual zero representation in two's complement. You can see here zero can be only represented using zero zero zero. How is it possible? Let's check using this example. So if we represent this positive zero with zero zero zero. Now let's find two's complement of this number to find what is the representation of negative zero in binary. So what is the process to find two's complement? First of all we'll write one's complement. So one's complement of this number is 111. One, one. Then we'll add 1. So we'll do plus 1. So now let's add 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 is carry. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 is carry. 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 is carry. And that one will write over here. Now because it is 3 bit representation we are ignoring the 4th bit and we are only considering the 3 bit. So we can represent negative 0 using 0 0 0. So it's clear that you can represent 0 with only one combination of number and that is 0 0 0. And this is the advantage of representing sign binary numbers using 2's complement method. And let me tell you this is the reason why 2's complement is preferred over 1's complement. Now I'll show you the third method to represent sign binary number. It is sign magnitude method. Here we are representing sign of number using MSP the most significant bit. For positive numbers we are using 0 and to represent negative numbers we are using 1. The remaining n minus 1 digits are used to represent the magnitude of that number. Now let us represent positive 3 and negative 3 using this method. For 4 bit representation of positive 3 the MSB is used to represent the sign of number. It is 0, 
which is used to represent the positive number so it is positive and 0 1 1 which is a representation of 3 so sine magnitude representation of this number indicates that it is positive 3 and if it is written like this 1 0 1 1 then here msb is 1 1 represents negative number so it is minus and 0 1 1 indicates 3 so it is minus 3 in this method also we encounter the problem of dual zero representation. So amongst these three methods, two's complement method is preferred amongst all these three methods. Here I am giving you these three questions for your self-assessment. Just find the two's complement of all these three numbers and quickly write the answer in comments to check your answer is correct or not. Now after learning this one's complement and two's complement method, now we are going to learn how to do binary subtraction using one's complement. So let's jump to this video.